start. Uh, this is Leah Hoffman doing an interview with Kelly Jones for Britain, Britannia. Britannia Teas and Gifts. Um, were you are you originally from Newfoundland? Yes. Yeah. Where in Newfoundland? Uh, oh, complicated. Uh, I was born in St. John's and stayed in St. John's until I started school, and then I moved to Mount Pearl. And then in grade five, we moved to Clark's Beach, which is out in Conception Bay. <clears throat> Where does the name Britannia come from? Uh, Britannia is located uh, on Random Island in Trinity Bay. And that's where my mom grew up and is where my mom's family's from. So uh, when we were deciding on the name for the store, we figured this place because I used to drink a lot of tea growing up, <laughs> so my uh, we used to drink like five to seven cups of tea a day. And Britannia is always associated having tea with my grandma, and my family out there, and we'd always have a tea before we went to bed, which was always uh, a cup of tea or a pot of tea, mm -hmm. and toast and cheese and pickles and meat, and that was your evening snack before you went to bed. <laughs> so. How long have you had this business? It's four years this weekend. So this weekend will be open for four years. Wow. Yeah. Why did you choose this location? Uh, I love downtown. Uh, hmm. There's something about downtown that's really comforting and uh, it's a special place and specialty stores are kind of what downtown's all about. So I guess that's why. And uh, this just happened to come up for rent. Like I didn't plan anything it just, just just kind of appeared and I was like okay this is the spot to go <laughs> so what's your favorite part about the store the tea <laughs> I, I love you know serving the tea and telling people about tea and talking about it all the time I'm a bit of a tea nerd mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, I like serving customers and I like being around people and I like all the tourists that come downtown and stuff like that so it's not a favorite part I like everything <laughs> Uh, do you know a lot of history about tea? Yes, yeah, <laughs> I do. Anything in particular? Uh, you would use a lot of tape if I <laughs> did that. Um, I can tell you that the first, uh, I'll tell you what the first, where tea first comes from. There's two legends about where tea started. Um, there was, uh, there's one from India and there's one from China. And uh, the first legend is that uh, tea uh, came into existence because there was an emperor, uh, Sheng Yong, I think is exactly how you expect to pronounce it, I might be wrong. Uh, he was an herbalist and an emperor, and um, he apparently was in his garden and had uh, a pot of water boiling, and uh, these leaves blew into the pot, and he, being an herbalist, decided to taste it, and, uh, and that was how tea was discovered. Uh, the other, uh, there's another legend from India, but there's two versions. <laughs> the first one is that um, there was a Buddhist monk, uh, Bodhisattva, uh, and I think his name was Bodhidharma. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. And he um, was a monk, and he was very intense about his uh, meditation and how very important it was to him and that he had to stay awake. So he used to chew on the tea leaves to keep himself awake. The other version is that he was a monk, and very adamant about staying awake and fell asleep during meditation and became so disgusted with himself that he cut off his eyelids so he would never sleep, close his eyes during meditation again and then he threw his eyelids away and the tea bush was supposed to have grown from his eyelids but I don't think that's true <laughs> <laughs> but there's all kinds of stuff um, I mean you can go back tea and war uh, the uh, tea, two wars at least two wars have been fought over tea the opium wars mm -hmm. which were China and Britain um, Britain wanted to buy tea but China wasn't interested in what Britain had as a commodity uh, because they didn't really have anything that China needed and uh, what ended up happening uh, was that the Britain just government discovered that uh, what people did want was opium so Britain was growing opium in India and then selling the opium for silver in China and then selling the silver back to China for tea so Britain kind of became the first drug lords uh, <laughs> and then the other war would be the American War American Revolution 
And uh, you probably have heard of the Boston Tea Party mm -hmm. when the settlers grew, dressed up as Indians and threw the tea out into the harbor. And that happened because of taxation on tea. Mostly it was because of tea. Um, the Britain... It's a long story. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, the British government... Uh, had a lot of tea because they had taxed everything and then the, because of smuggling they ended up buying all this tea basically and they had a surplus and then started charging a lower price in Britain but to get rid of the surplus they were ch shipping it to America but charging a surtax on top of it and America didn't feel it was right to be charged extra uh, and they decided to revolt because of the taxation and stuff like that. And so tea was one of the big commodities that was part of the problem. How many types of tea do you sell here? Over a hundred. Wow. Yep. <laughs> you can taste one in a minute. There's Belgian chocolate rooibos on upstairs. <laughs> wow. What is your favorite type of tea? Uh, if I had to pick, I would say any kind of oolong. I like oolong teas. Oolongs are between a green tea and a black tea. Um, the only difference is the amount of time they're exposed to oxygen. And in oolongs, you can get light oolongs and dark oolongs. And I really like them because they're a bit more fla fuller in flavor than a green tea, but not as uh, strong or bitter as black tea. Mm. So I really like oolong. What I is your them. favorite memory of Water Street? Oh, that's easy. Uh, it's a smell. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, my grandma used to, and my family used to come down to Water Street all the time. And um, on the far end uh, of Water Street, uh, near where the convention center parking lot is now, there was a Woolworths, which was a long time ago. Uh, and they had a bakery. And uh, the bakery on Saturdays would... Like, that's when they would bake their cakes and all the stuff and icing and stuff like that. And I can remember the smell of the icing. And I always associate that smell with pink icing for some reason because I think <laughs> there was a lot of pink cakes. <laughs> so that's probably one of my favorite memories of Water Street is going down and going to the raffles at Christmas time, which was a lot of fun. They had live turkeys. It was scary. <laughs> What's your favorite place on Water Street? I guess it's here. <laughs> uh, it's here, probably. I, re I mean, I love being in the store and everything like that. But, like, I like all of Water Street. I like walking up and down it. I like the feel of it. I like the heritage look of it. I just, you know, I hope they maintain that. <laughs> well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you very much for this. This is Leah Hoffman interviewing Kelly Jones.